what's going on. This living lawless. You know, appreciate our fans, you know, followers, random person for uh watching the blog and you know this video included. Uh this video should have been the first out of everything, but what makes my video that I'm gonna do so different from the one that I made and everybody else, you know, you know, most likely made is that mine is coming afterwards so I know what I did wrong for pre op. And this is pre op instructions. Uh, correct pre-op instructions, not just, you know, it's been a happen to me, this is the side the, this is the side effects, all that, you know, you can check that out on, uh, on my first video, and that will, you know, I'm reading from the paper, but here, what I'm going to give you is in response to a question I got, and it was going to be a, uh, a, you know, lengthy ass answer, so I would like to do this video, um, first off, I didn't do my pre-op right. And it revolt it resulted me in waking up during my operation, which I have no memory of, but I swallowed a bunch of blood. All right, um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna say that to last of why that happened, but I'm gonna get to some other things like exercising. Uh, you need to exercise. You need to get as many pounds as you can on you. I don't care if you're blubber boy. Um, uh, get you some pounds on. Because you're not going to be able to eat. Uh, it's amazing what a liquid diet even did to me. You know. Um, I, I can't fit my pants. You know. I had I have to add a loop on my belt. Because my waist went down. And I dropped weight. And uh, so. And I'm a small naturally skinny dude. And I don't feel like I dropped too much weight. But I still dropped noticeable weight. And you know. It. If I did it, you know, you, that you'll definitely drop it, which I wasn't, you know, quite sure about me dropping it, but I even dropped it. You eating on a liquid diet isn't enough. Noodles isn't enough. You're really going to have to start putting that weight back on your stomach. And you'll understand that term, you know, when you get into it. So eat good, uh, exercise. You want to get into the habit already of sitting up and sleeping. Big key. I wish somebody gave me this cheat sheet. But you want to get into the habit of go ahead and uh, sit upright and, and eat. Not eat, but, uh, you know, sleep. Um, you, you want to be able to do that for various reasons so you can get used to it. Uh, you'll know what, you know, additions you need to make. If, if you don't have really a good spot like that, it leaves you time to find you a good spot to buy. Stay at wherever you need to stay at, whatever. You know, I wish I would have went through my couch. I got a sectional couch. And I wish I would have went through it and found, figured out what spot I was going to like the most. And how frequently I was going to have to change from that spot. That way I don't get, like, you know, bed lumps and, you know, sores just because, you know, my, my that spot is sore because it doesn't move. You know, I wish I could have got used to all that pre-op. So that's one big thing that I can say. You know, uh, it's a big key. You're not going to find out in a lot of other videos um, that, you know, you're really supposed to even do this before, you know, your surgery. You know, do it afterwards, but you might as well do this. That way you can get the best sleep you can. All right. So, uh, gain you some weight, exercise, um, sleep posture, smoking and drinking. This is why I woke up in the middle of my surgery was because I smoked before my procedure. And yes, my procedure went excellent, if I must say, but that's not the point. The point is, I woke up in the middle of it, and I drank hella blood. And then I'm throwing that shit up all my first day, and the shit was fucking miserable. You know, excuse my language, but it is what it is. The shit was fucking miserable. There ain't nothing I'll recommend to you or anybody I know, you know. I'm not the type of person that don't wish shit on my worst enemy. You know, I'll wish that shit on my worst enemy because that's, that, that's hell. That's fucking hell right there. Um, so make sure you don't smoke a drink. And this will just help with the cravings afterwards. You know, afterwards you really won't be focused on that shit because it's kind of impossible. You know, you're like, oh, shit, man, my face is huge. If I act like the pain don't hurt, it eventually comes back and starts hurting can't sleep how I want to, you know, I'm tired, I can't eat like how I want to, so these are things that you want to be prepared for, you know, pre-op, don't stress about the surgery itself, because you're going to be good and well asleep, if I woke up in the middle and I don't remember it, 
you know, that's just just tell you how strong of a um, anesthesia they'll be giving you. you. Not gonna be anything local about it. It's gonna be general anesthesia. It's gonna be through your whole body. Everything gonna be, you know, numb. You know, you gonna be sleep. You gonna be out of it. You know, my nigga. So don't worry about the surgery. Don't worry about yourself and your help coming out of it. You wanna prep the people helping you. You need to download you an app that can translate um, your text to words because you won't be able to speak. And if you start speaking too much, your mouth will hurt. I don't blame you if your mouth going to start hurting because you want to speak, and that's communication. And I wanted that. You know, that's the first thing you realize you want. You don't care necessarily about how it looks because you know it got to heal. But you want to speak right away. People aren't telling you that. You really can't speak. And it really sucks. It's a communication thing. And, and when people don't understand you and they want to harm you, it upsets you. Because like, fuck, I just struggle to say that shit. You mean I got to struggle again to say it? And you still might harm me? Or I don't understand? Or people may think it's funny? So be prepared for that. Prepare you a vast amount of help. You know, hey, if you only got your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your mom or your dad, hey, you got to deal with what you got to deal with. But if you got a boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, either or, or even both, I know what day, 2017, or, you know, and you got mom, dad, you got grandma, sisters, all that, and friends, make all them help you with it. Make all them stay focused under that, under that code, under that moral that they're going to have to help you, and it's going to get rough sometimes. They have to remind you to have patience with them just like they have to have patience with you. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to stop right there. Um, it was a pretty long answer. That's why I went ahead and posted it. wasn't nothing serious. Just kind of the cheat sheet for a uh, pre-op, you know, going into your surgery. And you can follow my video step by the step. I don't sugarcoat shit. You know, if it hurts, it hurts. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. If you're bored, I'm telling you I'm bored. If I'm annoyed, I'd let you know. You know, so like, subscribe. Uh, as you can see, I'm on my fifth week right now. I'm still swole, but I'm not, you know, super swole. Uh, obviously, I can look at myself and be like, whew, I'm almost done. But I am swole, and, um, you know, I may be less swole if I knew, went into this with a better mindset and knowing what to do and doing what I just advise y'all to do. So, um, any questions? Uh... Leave them down in the comments. You can check all my videos. I'm like this with them. I'm coming back real quick for them. I want to be, I want to answer you because I know this is a difficult time. You know what I'm saying? So I want to answer you as quick as I can. So any questions, concerns, leave them down below. Like, subscribe, share this shit. Living Lawless, ATWG Records. I'm out. Get it.